Hey guys, this is Brian over at Obedia, and uh, today we're just going to talk real quickly about Pro Tools 9. Uh, a lot of you probably know that Avid recently, uh, just this past weekend, released uh, the new Pro Tools 9, and uh, there's a lot of cool new features. I'm just going to show you a couple of the um, ones that are the most talked about new features in uh, this newest version of Pro Tools, um, and there are some very big things uh, that will hopefully improve your workflow at home and if you're not already a Pro Tools user, this might interest you a little bit more. If you are already a Pro Tools user, hopefully you're going to find some things uh, that will help, again, to improve your workflow and uh, make using Pro Tools even more fun for you. So uh, enjoy the tutorial, and uh, if you have any questions, as always, please get in touch with me, brian at obedia.com. Uh, please go beyond the tutorial and sign up with us at obedia.com. Uh, we do offer bonuses just for signing up for with us. Uh, also for referring your friends and uh, anywhere in between. So uh, please do be in touch with us. Hope you enjoy the tutorial. Take care. So there's a lot of new features in Pro Tools 9, of course, but I'm going to show you some of the ones that I think are some of the biggest things that are really making a lot of people pretty happy about Pro Tools 9. Um, the biggest uh, announcement is most definitely that Pro Tools is now hardware independent. Uh, in the past, Pro Tools has relied on uh, proprietary hardware that you needed to have in order to be able to run Pro Tools, but you don't need that anymore. So um, you'll notice that uh, if I click on Setup and I go to my playback engine right here, I have an M Audio Delta 2496 in my uh, PC right here, and this is handling all of the audio input and output in Pro Tools. So I'll show you real quickly that that is indeed what is happening. So right there, that is Pro Tools feeding all of its sound out through the software mixer for my uh, audio file 2496. And this is a really big thing uh, because, again, as I say in the past, you had to have an MBox or a uh, DigiRack or something like that in order to be able to run your sound in and out of Pro Tools. You don't need to do that anymore, and I think that's something that's going to make a lot of home recordists really happy. One of the next things that's definitely a, a big improvement, and this is one of the things that um, Avid said that was their top user request actually uh, was the automatic delay compensation. So if you uh, click on options right here and select delay compensation, if you don't have it enabled, you'll get the playback engine window opened up. And uh, right here, I've got the option for delay compensation engine. And I can select short or long, just depending on, uh, well, how much compensation I need to happen, essentially. And the cool thing about this is that now if you instantiate a plugin into the effect chain in Pro Tools, Pro Tools is going to, as the name suggests, automatically compensate for the delay uh, and the latency that can happen when you instantiate plugins like that. So that's something that's going to make, again, a lot of home recordists very happy because now all of that is going to happen within the host instead of relying on external hardware to do all of that uh, delay compensation. Another thing that's very cool, and it's not fully implemented on the Windows side yet, but uh, I think it's going to be soon, is uh, integration with Euphonics Artist Series controllers. Uh, if you're not familiar with Euphonics, uh, Euphonics makes uh, control surfaces uh, for studio and at-home users that give you faders, transport controls, things like that. And in the past, on the Mac side, you were only able to use those controllers with Pro Tools using the Huey protocol. Well, the problem with Huey is that it's a little old, a little outdated, doesn't do everything that we need it to do. But if we click on Setup and we go to Peripherals now and under Ethernet controllers, you'll notice we have this option for Enable Yukon. Now, if I were to click on this right now, I would get an error message because I'm on Windows and Yukon is not uh, 
yet available for Windows. Um, but it is available on the Mac, so if you're on the Mac and you enable Yukon and you have U uh, Yukon installed and a Euphonics uh, piece of hardware, you will be able to use Pro Tools directly uh, with the Yukon protocol. And this is very cool because it gives you a lot more control over faders and plug-in control and EQs and things like that. I think the simple fact that we see enable Yukon listed here in Windows means that pretty soon we're going to see uh, U-Control show up on the Windows side and we'll be able to make Pro Tools interface with our Euphonics controllers on Windows and I think that's something that's going to be really cool. I know it's something I've personally really been looking forward to as well as a lot of other at-home users. One of the final big uh, announcements I think is uh, the ability to now record on up to 96 tracks of audio. Um, and this is something that, again, I think will make a lot of home recordists very happy. And, uh, you know, you'll notice that if I click on track, I go to new, I can add, let's add 80 audio tracks. So now I've got 80 audio tracks available to me. Well, over 80 because I had some tracks previously added. And, uh, you know, now I'm really only limited by the input output hardware that I've got. And of course, the power of my computer. Uh, you know, it's very important to pay attention to the overall processing power of your computer and not overpower it, but uh, you have the ability now to add all those tracks and record on them simultaneously. You were not previously able to do that in uh, older versions of Pro Tools uh, unless you had Pro Tools HD, and now you don't have to have Pro Tools HD in order to do that. Something else that will make uh, a, a lot of users happy is that uh, now, if you are bouncing to disk, you immediately have the option to bounce to MP3. In the past, you had to actually purchase an extension for Pro Tools that allowed you to export uh, to the MP3 format, but that is now natively included in Pro Tools 9. So these are just some of the basic improvements and cool new things that are available in Pro Tools 9. Uh, we will be doing tutorials on many of the new features that are available to you uh, with Pro Tools 9 as time goes on here. If there's anything that you guys would like to find out about, please feel free to email your questions to me at uh, brian at obedia.com and I will do some tutorials for you to show off the new features and we will of course be doing tutorials to show you how to use Pro Tools 9 in uh, your everyday workflow. I hope this is has been useful to you guys and I'll see you next time.